There's a brand new AI video model that just launched and it's already beating every expensive generator on the market while costing a fraction of the price. It's called Cdance 1.0. And while other platforms charge you premium prices for inconsistent results, this model is not only cheaper, but actually scores higher in a lot of benchmark tests. I've been testing this for weeks and the results are honestly incredible. You'll learn exactly how to use this new model to create videos that look like they cost thousands to produce, but you can make them for pennies. Today, I'm going to give you a complete walkthrough of Cdance, not just what it can do, but exactly how to use it step by step. We'll be using OpenArt to access this model, and I'll show you everything from basic prompting to advanced techniques that most people don't even know exist yet. By the way, if you want to follow along, I'll leave a link for OpenArt in the description below. First, head over to OpenArt and you'll see the main dashboard. Look for the generate video option. It's right there in the main menu. Click on that and you'll see the video generation menu. Now here, make sure to select Cdance as your model. OpenArt offers a bunch of models to use, but we'll focus on that for this video. For Cdance 1.0, we'll focus on two main approaches, image to video and text to video. Both use the same model, but they start from different points. Let's start with image to video, since this is where Cdance really shines. Click on image to video and you'll see the upload interface. I'm going to upload an image of a woman standing in a field. Once it's uploaded, you'll see the prompt field appear below the image. Here's where most people go wrong. They try to describe everything they see in the image, but with Cdance, you only need to describe what should move or change. The model already already understands what's in your image. The basic formula for Cdance is subject plus motion, then background plus motion, and finally camera plus motion. This formula is crucial because the scene already exists in your image. So you should reduce or even avoid descriptions of static unchanging parts. Instead, focus entirely on describing the moving parts, what your subject is doing, how the background is changing, and how the camera should move. The model will intelligently expand your prompts based on your expression and understanding of the image. For example, instead of writing a woman with dark hair wearing a white dress standing in a grassy field with big fluffy clouds in the background. I would write woman's hair and dress flutter in the breeze, grass waves gently, clouds drift across sky, camera slowly pans right. This focuses purely on the motion aspects while letting the model understand the static elements from the image itself. Let's try one more with this image of a warrior I created. Instead of writing a warrior in armor standing in a forest, I'm gonna write warrior swing soar dramatically, wind blows through trees, camera slowly orbits around subject. See the difference? I'm focusing on the actions and movements, not describing what's already visible. Let me generate this and show you what happens. Look at that result. The warrior's movement is natural, the environmental details respond perfectly, and that camera orbit is smooth and cinematic. Now let me show you something really powerful, sequential actions. Cdance can handle multiple consecutive movements in a single generation. I'll use this same warrior image, but with a more complex prompt. Warrior drops sword, then crosses arms. Wind dies down, then picks up dramatically. Camera pans left, then zooms in on face. The model processes these as a sequence, not random actions. Watch how it'll flow from one movement to the next. This is incredible. You can see each action happening in order and the timing feels completely natural. This is where Cdance absolutely destroys the competition. The camera language response is unmatched. Let me show you the different camera movements you can use. For orbit shots, I'll write, camera orbits around subject clockwise, maintaining steady distance. For aerial shots, camera pulls back to aerial view, showing full landscape. For zoom effects, camera slowly zooms in on character, then pulls back to wide shot. Let me generate each of these so you can see the difference. The orbit shot gives you that professional cinematic feel. The aerial transition is smooth and reveals the full scene beautifully. And that zoom sequence maintains focus and creates dramatic tension. Here's something most people miss. Cdance can't guess how intense you want the motion to be. You have to be explicit about it. This is a critical point. The model cannot get motion intensity from the input reference image, so it must be clear in your prompt. Otherwise, the model will decode on its own understanding, which may not be what you want. First, I'll generate with basic intensity. Warrior raises sword, leaves fall, camera pans right.
Now with enhanced intensity, Warrior raises sword dramatically, leaves fall frantically, camera pans right quickly. The difference is night and day. The enhanced version has so much more energy and visual impact. Now let's move to text to video, where you create everything from a written description. Click on text to video in the main menu. For text to video, all the techniques we've covered for image to video still apply. The core structure is slightly different, but the principles of sequential actions, camera movement, and motion language remain effective. And just like with image to video, negative prompts don't work here either. The core structure is subject plus motion, plus scene, plus camera and style. Let me create something completely new. A cyberpunk hacker with glowing blue hair typing frantically on a holographic keyboard. Neon lights flickering in a dark alley background. Rain falls steadily. Camera slowly pushes in, then orbits around character. Cinematic lighting, high quality. I'm being specific about the character, their actions, the environment, weather effects, and camera movement all in one prompt. Look at this result. It created the entire scene from scratch, and every element I described is there. The typing motion looks natural. The environmental effects are atmospheric and that camera movement is perfectly executed. Now here's an advanced technique, multiple subjects with different actions. The prompt structure becomes subject one plus motion one plus subject two plus motion two. So for example, warrior draws sword quickly, mage casts spell with glowing hands, both characters face each other in combat stance, camera captures wide shot, then cuts to close up of their faces. You can get even more specific when you've got multiple subjects. Now I'll type, elderly fisherman with a weathered face, casts a line into a calm lake, a young boy beside him, watches intently, then points excitedly at ripples in water. Birds fly overhead, camera starts wide, then moves closer to capture their expressions. This kind of detail is great for creating stories or character interactions. The key is just being clear about who's doing what and in what order things are happening. The model handles multiple characters and their individual actions while maintaining scene cohesion. This is incredibly difficult for most AI models, but Cdance makes it look effortless. What really sets Cdance apart from the competitors like OpenAI's Sora Turbo or Runway Gen 4 Turbo isn't just the quality, it's the price. While other platforms might charge $1 to $2 per clip, Cdance comes in at around $0.50 cents for a 5 second HD render. That's roughly 70% cheaper. Plus the multi-shot feature is a game changer for storytelling. Instead of making separate clips and piecing them together later in editing, you can generate a full sequence in one go. For example, Character walks into frame, close up of surprised expression, shot cuts to what they're looking at, then the camera pulls back to show the whole scene. It all happens in one shot, which saves a ton of time in post production. So now you know exactly how Cdance 1.0 works and why it's dominating the AI video generation space. And with OpenArt, you can access this cutting edge model and start creating professional quality videos that actually match your vision. If you want to start making videos that look like they were shot by a professional cinematographer, click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.